Hi everyone, it's me and Synapse Education, and today I'm in one of the most uh, alloyed districts of London. To be more precise, I'm in two districts at the same time, Knightsbridge and South Kensington, because I'm, I'm standing right on the border between these uh, districts. And today we'll visit a preparatory school where children under 11 years of age study. located on the South Kensington and Knightsbridge border. South Ken is a high-end district with lots of museums, including the Victorian Albert Museum, the Natural History Museum and the Science Museum. There are a lot of trendy restaurants and shops. The hallmark of the district is magnificent buildings of the Victorian era and different consulates. You can see dinosaurs and animals in the Natural History Museum. Various interactive exhibitions are in the Museum of Science. If you visit Kensington Palace, you will catch the spirit of the past. And and of course, the famous Albert Hall is located in the district. It hosts concerts for every taste, from classical to popular performances. The luxury shopping fans should definitely visit Harold's, Kensington High Street boutiques and Kensington Church Street antique stores. Here are also such well-known educational institutions as a Royal College of Music, an outstanding conservatory founded in 1882, and also Imperial College London, one of the best universities in the country and in the world. The university prepares scientists, doctors, engineers and businessmen. The Prince's Gardens Preparatory School provides top-notch education preparing kids for admission to the best schools of London. The school curriculum is designed to bring joy for kids. Teachers develop curiosity and ambitiousness in them. During the preparation program, children learn confidence, which helps them a lot not to worry about the future and be ready for anything. Students visit worldwide famous museums every week. This irreplaceable part of the program is what makes this preschool so unique. I'm sitting in a science class so right now. Here you can study physics, chemistry. There are students from 3 to 11 years here. There are several studying labs and the classrooms, and then now we'll look at the rest of them. There is basically just everything in terms of um, natural sciences uh, the kids need to prepare for admission to secondary and high schools. Right now I'm in the school uh, library, it's on the ground floor just at the reception. I want to draw your attention to the uh, learning process organization. Geography teachers or um, any other science teachers, for instance, when uh, telling about uh, space can take children to the museum and visualize it for them. Volcanoes, uh, earthquakes uh, like dinosaurs. The school strives to bring out the best in every child who must complete the preschool program with a full confidence and fully prepared for the next stage of their education. At the same time, they attach great importance to establishing close relationships between home and school. They try to understand every kid and help in realizing their potential, try to support them on their way, ensuring prosperity and growth. The educational program is interesting, innovative and versatile, whereas uh, teachers are experts which inspire students and instill in them love for education for life. This room is the so-called uh, brainstorming room. Uh, here children gather to come up with uh, some uh, creative ideas um, and um, technological equipment is provided. Unfortunately, I can't film uh, that wall because uh, there are pictures of kids on it. Well, it's not allowed to film students here. For example, they are given various technologies here, computers and stuff, and from a very early age, um, they know how it um, 
worked, uh, they can take it apart, put it together, create some interesting ideas. And why are they doing this? Uh, the kids are uh, very young, and we don't know what will happen in 10 or 20 years. It's of a great importance for the school to develop creative thinking in them, because uh, creative thinking helps to solve uh, different um, problems, like how to use your creative skills in practice, and um, art classes, leadership skills fostering, all that serves the purpose to obtain a fully developed individual. Here in this classroom, students work in teams, uh, sharing a desk, um, it's like a mini co-working space, uh, let's say, a young engineer sit here creating ideas, here in schools you can find kids uh, running with bottles with some um, strange stuff tied up to it, here are some handicrafts, uh, cardboard houses they made. There are 3D printers, so uh, laser cutting equipment, of course. this territory, uh, the whole uh, little park, is uh, the courtyard of the school. Francis Garden Prep School has um, the largest courtyard in the central part of uh, London. Another thing is that the school building uh, seems uh, small only at the first time, so I must say. Uh, actually, the school owns uh, three buildings united into one. It uh, also has a partnership with the Imperial College London, which can also use uh, this courtyard. Around the garden, uh, different embassies are located, and the school itself, uh, the rest the rest of the buildings around are Imperial College buildings. They're moving the lawn right now. It's a, it's a bit noisy, but what can I what can I do? And uh, when children play sports, they don't do it here, but in um, Hyde Park, which is 200 meters from here, they play tennis and football there. And also, the Imperial College partnership allows them to use the um, university sport centers. And all this uh, space can be used for the lessons outside the classroom. The school is an active um, supporter of outdoor lessons. Just look at this beauty! All colors of autumn in front of us. It's um, November now, and uh, well, in London it's very lovely in November. And here is the school. We've been in the backyard, and uh, this um, this uh, little park is in uh, front. It is in front of school, and uh, children can also play here and uh, have. Uh, various outdoor classes. Yeah. 